On Sunday, we had the most extraordinary time during our expression of praise and worship to God in song. The first song we had sung was nice and bouncy and giving glory to God. But as we were singing, the heavens shall declare the glory of the Lord, I felt in my heart to go to Revelation 21. And I then got up to the pulpit and said, folks, you may have caused yourself problems. You may feel like you are the beginning and the end of your problems. You may have felt that you're the beginning and the end of your broken heart. You may have felt that you're the beginning and the end of your victory and your healing in your mind and there, right there in your heart over all kinds of things. But that's not what the Bible says. And as I was sharing this, I could feel the Holy Spirit moving through the congregation. And I read from Revelation 21, and behold, I am coming quickly and my reward is with me to give to everyone according to his work. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Oh my goodness, let me tell you something. When you gave your heart to Jesus Christ, if you have a saving knowledge of him, he is the beginning and he is the end. He is the author and he is the finisher. Friends, you may have got yourself into all kinds of bother sometimes, but Jesus was right there with you. He doesn't run when you get yourself into trouble or things go wrong. He doesn't walk away. He's right there. And he'll be right there to bring it to completion. He is the beginning and he is the end. And I want to say this to you. He heals the brokenhearted and he sets the captives free. I was so conscious of this on Sunday. We were doing a wedding after the service, so there were a lot of guests there. And as I said, he heals the brokenhearted. You know, uh, you can scratch your finger and stay there for days. You get a broken heart, stay there for a lifetime. But he is the beginning and he is the end. Oh, friends, when we activate what we know is true, that's what believing is. We received all the faith we ever needed at conversion. Now, when we activate what we believe, that is faith. And I'll tell you something. As we were singing songs, I, I, I don't see, see in our church, we don't see songs as worship just on their own. We see that as the expression of our worship. In other words, we know God. And so we express that in song. And as we're expressing our worship to God, it was beautiful to recognize he is the beginning. Stop thinking that you're the beginning and the end. Stop thinking that you can resolve everything in your life. If you have a broken heart, a broken mind, things wrong in the family, remember, as you've heard me say before, nests are built from broken branches. Now, if a bird can build a nest from broken branches, God can build a life from broken pieces. Now, receive that, will you? God is with you. Go to the Lord and recognize, activate belief, activate what is already in your heart, the truth. Activate the truth. Believe the truth. Dear Lord, you are the beginning. You are the end. You are the alpha. You are the omega. And you heal the brokenhearted. And you set the captives free. God bless.